Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Hey, how are you guys? Hello, Sonia. Hello, Denise, Vanessa, Esmeralda, Marco Antonio, and Rebecca Junel. Welcome to the class. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Finally, today is Friday, right? And tomorrow is Saturday. Are you going to rest tomorrow or are you going to work? I'm going to beach. Excellent. That's a nice plan. I'm going to rest. Perfect, Sonia. Hello, Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you tonight? So far, so good. Ah, okay. How was your day, guys? Was it great? Or was it busy? Stressful? How was your day? ¿Cómo estuvo su viernes? It was good. Okay, thank you. So, let me ask you about the platform. Did you finish the platform exercises um, in section one, in section two? Yes? Yes. Yes. Congratulations, then. That is excellent. I also have a little problems. And okay. I completed a uh, first uh, exercise and is a no, uh, how do you say acepta? It didn't accept the answer or it doesn't, it doesn't accept the answer. Uh, el problema es que si it doesn't respondí, work. Uh, yo respondí el, la actividad y se, según mi criterio está, está correcto y, este, y no me acepta la respuesta. Entonces ahí me marca eh, que no está completo el puntaje, aunque yo sí lo hice. Ok, tell me what exercise is it? What is the exercise in which you have problems? Ahorita es el... Um, es de la... Eh, quiero ver... 1.12 de Long Arms Work with B. Section 1, right? Sí. Okay, here we go. Which one? Los, lo tengo exactamente así re, con las respuestas y me sigue dando que todas están en error. Oh, really? Sí, yeah. este. El punto mm, que se me lo ha puesto. Todo could, correcto. It could be the period and next phase between words or the apostrophe. Sometimes we write the tilde in Spanish, and we need to write the apostrophe. So what we can do right now is um, to, I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to share with you on the chat. Voy a, voy a ver si puedo pegar una, um, creo que no se puede, pero quisiera pegar una okay. captura en la... Um, Pero es que es, 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 está en WhatsApp. Exactamente. Ajá. Okay. Lo, lo voy a enviar al grupo. Ok. I'm, I'm sharing with you the answer here on the chat. So you can copy and paste on the space. Right. And let me know if it is work. We can do this too. Ok. There are the answers. So just copy and paste. And let's see if it is work. Okay. 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 Thank you. Okay. Let's try it in this way. If no. Okay. Let me see. This is your screenshot, then. Okay. Yes. It seems that it's similar to the answer. No, I not. Yes, she is. In the second one, we need here this comma. We don't have the comma there in the sentence. And the third okay. one too. 
it's the comma, no, it isn't. And in number four, the same, right? The comma. And you have another word here. Yes. Okay. Same H. Okay. Then okay. Punctuation is the problem there. Okay. Any other okay. question? Any other problem in the platform? Nothing. No. Only. Thank only you. that. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much for your question. And let's go. Let's go with tonight class then. Tonight we're going to study time expression. That is the topic for tonight, time expression. Do you know some expression to express time in English? There are preposition of time and also adverb of time. Do you remember some of them? If no, let's start and studying this topic. Time expression is the topic for tonight and this is the lesson objective. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to identify and use time expressions such as preposition of time and adverse of time. So here we go with this topic. But before to start the expression of time, I have a review of yesterday's classroom. Yesterday we studied this question. What do you do? Where do you work? What do you do there? And also, how do you like your job? I have this small conversation. Take a look at this. What do you do? I am a chef. Where do you work? I work in hotels and restaurants. What do you do there? I cook in the kitchen. How do you like your job? I love it. So to start this class, I need to volunteer to practice in this small conversation. Who wants? Who wants to practice? Any volunteer tonight? If no volunteers, I'm going to choose somebody. And one, two. Okay, thank you, Claudia. Thank you so much. And Jose Eduardo, thank you very much. I really appreciate your help. So, Eduardo, you are A. Claudia, you are B. Can you please start? Uh, okay, what do you do? I am chef. Where do you work? I work in hotels and restaurants. What do you do there? I cook in the chicken. How do you like your work job? I love it. Excellent, thank you. Yes, help me with this work. Mm, let's see. Claudia, can you please repeat this one? Sim. Kitchen. Kitchen, thank you so much. Kitchen, very good, thank you. So let's go over the next. I have another small conversation here. Thank you, Jose Eduardo. Thank you, Claudia. Excellent job. I have this other example. What do you do? I am a lawyer. Where do you work? I work in an office. What do you do there? I solve people's legal problems. How do you like your job? I really like it. De en verdad me gusta. I really like it. So any two volunteers to practice in this small conversation, who wants to try? Any volunteer? If no volunteers, I'm gonna choose a big team. Thank you, Dennis, thank you so much. A any other volunteer? I have Dennis and thank you, Eliana. Thank you so much, Eli. So, Dennis, you are A, Eli, you are B in this card. Okay, what do you do? I am a lawyer. Where do you work? I work in an office. What do you do, sir? I solve people's legal problems. How do you like your job? I really like it. Okay, okay. thank you so much, Eli and Denise. Almost perfect. How do you pronounce this word again, Denise? There. There, excellent, thank you. What do you do there? Perfect now. And this is the last one. What does she do? This is interperson. What does she do? She's a science teacher. Where does she work? She works in a school. 
What does she do there? She teaches science to students. How does she like her job? She loves it. I need to volunteer to participate in the third conversation. Thank you, Marco Antonio. Thank you, Rebecca. Thank you so much. So, Marco, you are A. Uh, Rebecca, you are B. Can you please start practicing, please? Okay. What does she do? She is a science teacher. Where does she work? She works in a school. What does she do there? She, she, she teaches science to stop. How does she like her job? She loves it. Excellent. Thank you so much. Perfect job. So let's see, I have a couple of mistakes here. What is it? What is the mistake? There are two sentences that have a mistake. What is it? Science. Student. Science. Student. Science. What is it? What is the mistake? Science. They are correct. Science students are correct. So what is what is the mistake? Can you find it? I think it's the, how does she like her job? How does she like her job? No, that question is correct. La inicial mayúscula. Okay, Moises, excellent. Remember, in English, every sentence starts with a capital letter and end with a period. Perfect. So I have twice right here and here. So capital letter, thank you. Very good observation. Okay, now let's start identifying preposition of time here in this conversation. Okay. Yeah, take a look of this conversation. Tell me, there is a new word there. Rebecca, do you have a question? Moises, do you have a question? No, okay. Take a look of this conversation. New vocabulary here, new words. David? No. David? Hello, David. Do you have a question? Uh, teacher, yes. Uh, what is a TV announcer? Okay, I am a TV announcer. Okay, it is a person that appeared in, on TV. Uh, let's see, news. It's como presentador de noticias. So as you can see, I do the weather report on Kai and TV. TV announcer. Okay, thank or you. you. Can, or you can say, uh, okay. Hey, let, let's listen to this conversation. Uh, what is it? I'll hear it. Yes, a second. No more question about the vocabulary? Yes, yes. Tell yes. me, Marco, what is your question? Uh, what is the meaning of by the way? A propósito. Gracias. Thank you. That is the meaning, a propósito. Any other question? Then if you don't have any other question, let's listen. Pay attention, please, to the pronunciation, and then we're going to practice. And then we're going to identify a preposition of time and adverb of time in this conversation. So let's listen first. I start work at five. I can, start work at five. Can you listen to the conversation? 
Yes. Yes, yes, I listen. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm sorry. I start work at five. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? I'm a TV announcer. I do the weather report on KNTV. Don't you recognize me? Oh, you're Helen Black. I love your show. By the way, I'm Daniel. Okay. I need to volunteer to practice this conversation. No volunteers to practice. David, I have David. Thank you, David. And let's see. Oh. Okay, David and Dennis, and then I have Ileana too. Let's listen first, David and Danny. David, you are so, Daniel. And Dennis, so, you're going to read the Helen part. So, do you speak up in, in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? What time do you go? Do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Wow, that's late. When do you go? when do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do, do exactly? I'm a TV announcer. I do the weather report and key and TV. Don't you recognize me? Oh, you're Helen Black. I love your show. By the way, I'm Daniel. Thank you so much. Uh, almost perfect job. Very good pronunciation, guys. You did a great job in this exercise. Yes, yeah, this works. Can you help me? How do you pronounce this bird? Recognize. Okay, don't you recognize me? Recognize. Recognize me. Recognize me. Thank you. Recognize me. Okay. Very good now. Thank you. Much better. Uh, no more question. Then let's identify some preposition of time in this conversation. Let's see. Here is the first one. In, in the morning, in the morning, then I have this other one, at night, at is another preposition of time, then you say at midnight, so he, I have at again, so let's see, okay, any other, I have in the morning, at night, at midnight. So let's see in the next information, expression of time. I had here some adverbs of time around, early, late, until, before, and after. We can use these adverbs of time to say, right, when we do uh, some activities. Let's see, for example, I go to work around seven. So what is the meaning of this sentence? I go to work around seven. Me voy al trabajo alrededor de las siete. Okay. So around means cerca de las siete, casi a las siete, ¿verdad? Alrededor de las siete. Uh, early, it means temprano. I leave my house early. I leave my house early. Late, the contrary, right? I arrive home late, tarde, until, until mean, I work until midnight. What is the meaning of this? Until? Hasta. Hasta. Okay, I work uh, until midnight. Yo trabajo hasta la media noche. Then I have before, I play before going to sleep. I play video games before going to sleep. Before means antes. Yo juego antes de 
irme a dormir. After, I am tired after work. It means después. Yo estoy cansado después de trabajar. Then we use this expression, right? To express time around, early, late, then have until, before, and after. So let's read this information here. Let's listen. Listen this information, please. Pay attention to the pronunciation, please, of the of this, right? Adverbs of time and also the preposition of time. Time expressions. I get up at 7 in the morning on weekdays. I go to bed around 10 in the evening on weeknights. I leave work early in the afternoon on weekends. I get home late at night on Fridays. I stay up until midnight on Saturdays. I wake up before noon on Sundays. I wake up afternoon on Sundays. Expressing clock time. Seven, seven, seven o'clock. Seven a.m. equals seven in the morning. Seven p.m. equals seven in the evening. Oh, okay, so I get up at seven. I get up at seven. We are going to use at for a specific, right? For a specific time. For a skate doll. So you say, I get up at seven. I go to bed around 10. I leave work early. Oh, and I have this uh, other expression. I get up at seven in the morning on weekdays. I go to bed around 10 in the evening on weeknight. I leave work early in the afternoon on weekend. I get home late at night on Friday. I stay up until midnight on Saturday. I wake up before or afternoon on Sunday. So at, in, and on. Time and expressions. Preposition of time. Cada uno tiene su uso y lo vamos a ver en la siguiente tabla. So let's say a look of this information. At is for precise time or a specific time. Let's see, for example, Si usted hace una actividad a una hora exacta, at 3 o'clock, at 10.30 a.m. Y también lo vamos a utilizar en estas expresiones. At noon, at dinner time, at bedtime, at the sunrise, at the sunset, at the moment, at night. Do you have any question in this part? No questions. No teacher. No, what is the meaning of dinner time? Of dinner time? Tiempo de cenar. Tiempo de la cena. A la hora de la cena, thank you. At bedtime. Hora de dormir. At sunrise. Puesta del sol. Puesta o al amanecer? Amanecer, amanecer. Ok, and at sunset, lo contrario, en la puesta del sol. At the moment. En este momento. You say, I'm busy at the moment. What is the meaning of that sentence? Por el momento. Por el momento. Estoy ocupado por el momento. Estoy ocupado, maybe at night, en la noche, ¿verdad? En, en estas expresiones y en tiempo específico, we are going to use at. What time do you go to bed? Then you say, I go to bed at. Y usted dice la hora específica a la que se va a la cama. Y what time do you have breakfast? Every day. ¿A qué hora desayuna todos los días? I had breakfast at. Y usted dice la hora. 
at. We use at. And then we have in. We are going to use this preposition of time for months, years, centuries, and long period of time. Let's see, for example, in May, in summer, in the summer, in 1990, in the 99, in the next century, in the ice age, in the past, in the future, in the morning. And finally, we have on. We are going to use on for days and day. On Sunday, on Tuesday, on 6 March, on December 26, uh, 2010, on Christmas Day, on Independence Day, on my birthday, on New Year's Eve, on Friday morning. So let's see. Do you have any question? Then as you can see, every preposition has the correct use, right? Let's see the next exercise. Let's practice. What is the right? What is the right answer? One, two, or three? Can I say in Sunday, on Sunday, or at Sunday? On no. Sunday. On Sunday. Okay, on Sunday. The next. On the evening, in the evening, at the evening. In the evening. In the evening. In the evening. In the evening is the right. Letter C, on night, in night, at night. At night. At night. At night. On Monday morning, in Monday morning, at Monday morning. On Monday morning. On, on Monday on morning. Monday. On February, in February, at February. On February. On February. In February. In February. In February. February. In February. In February. In February. Okay, number two is the right one. In February. We use in for a month. On 2018, or in 2018, at 2018. In 2018. In 2018. In. In, right? We use in for years. On winter, in winter, at winter. In winter. Any other option? Do you agree with David? In winter is the right answer? Yes, in winter. In winter. Perfect answer. Okay, now let's complete. Use at, in, or on to complete the following sentence Papá, me duele mucho el estómago, mamá. Play soccer. Play soccer on Sundays. Okay, let me see. On, yes. He plays soccer on Sunday. The second one. We go to the beach in summer. In the summer. On. We go to the beach in summer. Number three, I drink coffee. In the morning. Yes, you're right, David. In the morning. He is busy. Uh, at, at the moment. At the, at the moment. moment. School starts in, in January. In January. In January. In January. In January. In January. They shop open at, at, at night. night. At the soccer match is. In December. In December 10th. In December. On the on December 10th. On the 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 the shop opens at night. The soccer match is, you say, on. On. 
December 10th. I rest in weekends, on weekends, at weekends. I rest on weekends. Perfect. You say on weekend. We celebrate Mother's Day in May. In May. Okay, perfect. So we use on for days of the week on Sunday. We use in for the season in summer and also for a month or for the period during the day. So in the morning in January, we use at for this expression at the moment, also for a specific time. The shop opens at nine. In on is for a day. This is a complete day, right? December 10th. So I need on. On weekend. On weekend. And also we use in, in months, right? In May. Do you have any question about this? Exercise? No question? No question. No question. Okay. I need a volunteer. Uh, who wants ah, to... ¿Por qué en diciembre es on? On. Oh, porque es una fecha. December 10th. Si fuera solo el mes, tendríamos que utilizar in, pero como tiene la fecha exacta, December 10th, then I need to use on. Thank you for your uh, question. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay, who wants to read sentence one, two, and three? Any volunteer? One, two, and three. Let's practice. Any volunteer? Thank you so much. I have two participants. Thank you, Sonia and David. A four, five, and six, and Vanessa, seven, eight, and nine. And okay, she, she plays soccer on Sundays. We go to the beach in summer. I drink coffee in the morning. David? He is busy at the moment. The school starts in January. The shop opens at nine. Vanessa? The soccer month is on December 10th. I read on weekends. We celebrate Mother's Day in May. Thank you so much. Uh, isn't there any other volunteer? Hay algún otro voluntario? Okay. Ah, I have another. So let's see who. Okay, Estonia, one, two, and three. And then I have Rebecca, five, six, and uh, sorry, four, five, and six, and Marco, seven, eight, and nine. Let's start. Estonia, can you please start? She plays soccer on Sundays. We go to the beach in summer. I drink coffee in the morning. Rebecca, please. At the morning, at the moment. The school starts in January. The shop opens at nine. The soccer match is on December 10th. I rest on weekends. We celebrate Mother's Day in May. Perfect job. Thank you. Thank you so much for your help in this exercise. Then let's go with the next. I'm going to show you this. This is small conversation. So, can you identify some uh, advert of time or some preposition of time in this conversation? In the line of evening, I work in the morning, in the afternoon. Yes, we have that example in the afternoon and evening. Any other? Also around. Thank you, Eli. Around 9 a.m. Any other? Until I get up 7. Uh, what is it that I get up at seven? And Tina, the last one. Oh, and I get up at seven, yes.
Okay. What is this conversation about? Listen and follow the reading, please. Listen and follow the reading. And then I'm going to ask you some questions. Listen to Rodney, Tina, and Ellen talk about their daily schedules. Complete the chart. What do you do, Rodney? I'm a chef. Hey, that's great. So, what are your work hours like? They're okay. I work in the afternoons and evenings. I get up around 9 a.m., and I work from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. I get home fairly late, about 11 p.m., and I'm usually in bed by 1 in the morning. And what do you do, Tina? Well, I'm an office manager. It's a regular 9 to 5 office job, so I get up at 7 a.m. and get home around 6 p.m. That's okay, though, because I like to go out at night. I go to bed around midnight on weekdays. Any question about vocabulary in this conversation? Uh, no yes, point. what is the meaning of work hours and fairly late? Okay, hey, that's great. So what are your work hours like? So, como es, ¿cuáles son tus horas laborales? ¿Cuáles son tus horas laborales? What are your work hours like? And fairly late. Fairly means bastante. So fairly late, bastante tarde. Any other question? Thank you. You're welcome. Any other question? I have some question for you. What is an escape goal? What is an escape goal? Horario. Okay, then what is the meaning of daily schedule? Horario diario. Horario, okay, yes. Thank you. So, who is a chef? Tina or Rodney? Rodney. 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 Who get up earlier? Who get up earlier? Tina. Tina, okay. Uh, okay, nice. What is a Rodney schedule? <laughs> what is a Rodney schedule? In the evening, no, in the afternoon and the evening. Okay, he works. He works in the afternoon and the evening. What time does Tina get home or arrive home? She, at 6 p.m. Around 6 p.m. And she say, that's okay. Why does she, that's okay? She likes to go out at night. Okay, because she likes to go out at night, right? Uh, do you like to go out at night, guys? Do you like to go out at night? ¿Les gusta salir por la noche? To dance, to eat out, to a park, to a shopping mall. ¿No les gusta salir en la noche? Yes. Yes. Okay, now I need to volunteer to practice in this small conversation. Who wants? Who wants to try it? Thank you, David. I have David and anyone? I have Rebecca. Thank you so much. So, Rebecca, you are Tina, and David, you are going to read Rodney's part. So, let's start, please. Thank you so much for your help. What do you do, Rodney? I'm a chef. Hey, that's great. So, what are you work hours like? They're okay. I 
work in the afternoon and evenings. I get up around 9 a.m. and I work from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. I get home fairly late, about 11 p.m. and I'm usually in bed by 1 in the morning. What do you do, Tina? Well, I'm a I'm an office manager. It's a regular nine act to supply office jobs. So I get up at 7 a.m. and get home around 6 p.m. That's okay because I like to go out at night. I go to bed around midnight on the weekend, weekdays. Excellent. Thank you so much. So guys, what are your, hour, your work hours like? For the ones who work, what are your work hours like? Any volunteer to answer this question? What are your work hours like? ¿De qué horas a qué horas trabajan? ¿Cuáles son sus horas laborales? And you say, I work from until. Nobody. Yes, I answer. work. I work from eight a.m. until four p.m. Okay, thank you. So you have an office, right? You had an office job. Yes. <laughs> I would like. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, any other answer? What are your work hours like? I work to. 5 a.m. at um, 9, oh, 9 p.m. Okay, you say I work from 5 a.m. until 9 p.m. Okay, great. Those are a lot of work hours. Okay, great. So let's continue with the next here. Listen to Rob. Okay, y así continúa la conversación. Now read me as to Helen. Follow the reading, please. What about you, Ellen? Well, my job is a bit different. I'm a flight attendant. I start work at 6 in the morning, so I have to get up before 5 a.m. Wow, that's too early for me. Then I often have long flights, so I don't get home until 9 o'clock at night. But I always go to bed right away, around 10. Okay. Uh, can you please identify here the preposition of time and also the adverb of time? What is an example? An example is um, for Helen. I start work at 6 in the morning. Excellent. Any other example? Uh, which other went? At period. In the next line, we have before. Excellent. I have to get up before 5 a.m. Any other? In Any the other? second one, from Helen in the third, uh, she says, until uh, 9 o'clock at 9. Perfect. So I don't get home until nine o'clock at night. Very good. And in the last one too, around 10, I always go to bed right away around 10. What about? Then break up room practice. You are going to discuss this question with your classmates tonight. What are your work hours like? What time do you get up? What time do you get up? What time do you arrive home? And what time do you go to bed? So take note of these, take note of these question, please, because you are going to discuss them with your classmate. You are going to have like six minutes to complete this activity. So take a screenshot. You can take a screenshot or you can write the question in a piece of paper because you are going to need them to, to practice with your classmates. 
Oh, don't forget to say hello to your classmate before to start asking the question. So, hello, how are you? How was your day? Are you okay? And then you start practicing, right? Are you ready? Yes, and listos. Let me know if you're ready, please. To go to the breakup room. Yes, I'm ready. Yes. Okay, thank you, Sonia. Thank you. Ready. Ready, David? Yes, it is. Okay, before to go to the practice, just one volunteer to answer this here. What are your work hours like? What is the answer for that question? Just one volunteer, please, to answer before to go to the breakout rooms. ¿Cuáles son tus horas laborales? Yes, thank you, Marco. So, you say, I work. I work from 5 a.m., for example, to 2, 3 o'clock p.m. It's just an example. Now, what time do you get up? What is a good answer for this question? What time do you get up? A qué horas te levantas? Thank you, Esmeralda. I get up, I get up mm -hmm. at 7 o'clock. Okay, excellent. I get up at 7 o'clock. You can say, I get up early. I get up around 7 o'clock. So use the preposition and also the at the time to answer the question. What time do you arrive home? What's the meaning of this question? What time do you arrive home? Thank you, Sonia. So what is a good answer for this question? When you say, I get home or I arrive home at around before. You can use those expressions to answer. I get home before 11 p.m. Regresa antes de las 11, ¿verdad? O after midnight, después de la medianoche. And the last one, what time do you go to bed? Regularly, what time do you go to bed? ¿A qué hora say, a la cama? Perfect, Esmeralda, thank you. ¿A qué horas te acuestas? ¿A qué horas te duermes? You say, I go to bed around 12 in the morning. ¿Quién se acuesta después de las 12 de la noche? Nobody. Yo. Esmeralda, ok. You are a night old, right? A night old okay. person. Ok, so is it clear what you are going to do in the breakup rooms, guys? Yes? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Ok, excellent. So let's share your answer with your classmate. Please stay turn, right? Tome turnos para preguntar y para responder. So here we go. Um, let me close this. Yeah. We are 12. Nice. Okay. You are going to have five, six minutes, six minutes to complete this activity. See you in six minutes. O sea, él recibió la invitación para unirse a las salas, para unirse a la sala con sus compañeros.
Hello, Josael. Good evening. Do you have a problem to enter to the breakup room? Hello, Jose, do you need any help to enter to the breakup room? Three AM. <laughs> but you don't fall in, in sleep. <laughs> no. And Rebecca, what about you? What time did you get up? Um, get up at 4 a.m. Wow. So very. Um, <laughs> and excuse me? Is it? Uh, around 11 p.m. Okay. Um, David, what are your work hours like? My work hours are I work from eight a.m. until five p.m. Okay. And you? Uh, I I don't have a schedule. Because I work from home and I'm an entrepreneur. So I don't have a schedule. Sometimes I I work at 9 p.m. or at 1 a.m. So it depends. The la cantidad de pedidos que tenga. No sé cómo se dice cantidad de pedidos. <laughs> oh, what is your business about? Um, I have an an entre entrepreneurship of things um with resin. I do um I I make also t-shirts and things like that. Um, okay, so it depends on the customer demand. Yes. Okay, okay. thank that, you. That is the phrase you were looking for. Depende <laughs> de la demanda de los clientes, right? That's sí. great. Gracias. <laughs> okay, a very good business. <laughs> thank you. Okay, so continue asking. Let's see, for example, what time do you get a shower? You okay. Say, uh, uh, get a shower at around before. Um, it's just an example. Uh, what time okay. do you have lunch, for example? Continue asking question. Okay, um, David. What time, what time do you eat breakfast?
Hello, Ili. Hello, Jonel. Hello, Esmeralda. Hello, David. Welcome again to the class. How was your practice? Did you finish? Did you finish practicing with your classmates? Yes. Yes, you did. Oh, that's great. Um, how was it? Was it good? Uh, so, so, okay, but no me dejaron hablar a mí. But it was nice. So, where is the rest of your classmate? They have like 60 seconds to come back. So here they are coming. Hello, Claudia. Welcome again. Hello, Marco, Denise. How was your practice? Was it good? I like it. Oh, that's great. That's great. Okay, just to finish the class, let's go to the platform and check the last exercise here. And let's complete this. Okay, uh, the instruction, it says complete these sentences with time expression. I am sharing with you my screen. Let me know, please, if you can see it. Can you see the platform on my screen? Yes. Yes, oh, thank you so much. So I get up. What is the preposition of time that we need to complete this sentence? Up. I get up at P. Okay, what about you? Do you get up before or after C? Before or after? I get up before, before six. Before six, okay. Before six. Uh, do you get up before a 5 a.m.? Before 5 a.m. Okay, before 5 a.m. That is too early. Number two, I go to bed late at night, on night, in night. At the night. At night, I go to bed late at night. Number three, I start work. I start work at... 11.30 11 a.m. 11.30. Yeah. I have lunch at 12 p.m. In the afternoon. the afternoon. In the afternoon, I stay up. I stay up at 1 a.m. On weekend. weekend. On weekend. I wake up late on Sunday. On Sunday. I watch TV. The evening. In the okay. evening. I do my homework. Around four in the afternoon. Around four in the afternoon. And number nine, I work. On weekdays. On weekday. And the last one, number 10, I get home early. In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Okay, let's click on send. And then, yes, you were right. 33 points of 33 points. You got a 10. Thank you so much. That was the last exercise here, right? Let's see. We have another one. No, oh, those are the listening. We saw them during the class. So do you have any question about tonight class? This is the moment. No questions? No. Okay, if you don't have any other question, thank you so much for being here with me tonight. It has been a pleasure to be with you during this week. Thank you. See you on Monday, guys. Enjoy your weekend, rest a lot, spend time with your family and do something funny, relax, right? Listen to music, watch a movie, practice a sport. Do something funny, right?
take time for you during this weekend. Okay. See you next Monday. Bye-bye. 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 Thank you, teacher. Bye-bye. See you on Monday. See you on Monday, guys. Bye-bye.